Well, hello everybody. This is happening yet again. Um, I just ordered a bunch of stuff from Erin Condren. Basically, I'm blaming my one larger purchase on Jody. She is on YouTube at Organize Life's Chaos. She is here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. She gave me a fabulous idea and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I also picked up some other goodies because I've obviously got problems, so anyway, let's get into the Erin Condren haul. P.S. I don't know if I've ever gotten a pink box before. I don't know, maybe I have. Um, let me pull my little thing out here. Wow, this is my 15th order, you guys. Like, I've got problems, obviously. Okay, so let's put this right here so you can see it. All right, so they always put in, like, this is a sticker and a postcard. I don't, I don't do anything with these. Told you guys that. Has some really pretty teal wrapping with the little sticker that like is never really stuck, but you know what? It's all about the presentation, kids. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so here's all the things. Let me move this out of the way. Let's get into the good stuff. You. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. I put it over here. You guys can't see it all. <laughs> so exciting. Okay. So let's get into these. This is something I wanted to order with my next order, but I wasn't sure when I was gonna order some stuff. And then Jody showed me this really cool thing and I'm like, okay, I gotta order. So anyway, these are very new to the Erin Condred website. These are the sticker packs. So there are the functional flags and the sticker pack that is the alphabet and illustrations. I'm gonna pull these out so we can see them one by one. There might have been another packet that I didn't get. I don't know, I can't remember, but let's use the alphabet and illustrations first. I wanna open it, see the sticker quality, tell you guys what I think. Um, I gotta say, well, I don't wanna say yet because I might be shooting myself in the foot, but... Um, their foil has gotten so much better, I have to say, because I've had so many problems with Erin Condren foil in the past, and these ones look really good, like really good. So, all right, this is kind of a boring sheet, but let me talk about this one first, because I'm gonna put it aside. This is a really pretty, all gold and all rose gold, and then these little asterisks are every other rose gold and gold. Really, really pretty. I hope you guys, this is coming off properly on camera. Sorry, my lighting isn't the best today because I just got home from work and it's almost black outside already, so yay. But these look so cool. They're on a matte paper, um, very similar to their other like sticker strips that they have. So yeah, I like these. Oh, I'm gonna use these up. But anyway, this is kind of the more like boring of the two sheets, or sorry, the three sheets. So let's move along to this. This is the rose gold, as you can see the foil reflection, hopefully. These are really pretty. Oh, these are really nice too, the watercolors. Let me zoom you guys in so we can actually look at these a little bit better. So here is the full sheet. You can see the reflection a little bit better. So yeah, this is really cute. Um, love all these at the top, all these just kind of like random icons, which is kind of cool. And then there are some flags at the bottom. I love these little like watercolor flags. I don't know what I would use them for, but they're really cool. Also love the weekend banner too, and that has like the foil around it as well. So pretty much all of these besides a few have the rose gold foil on them. And the last sheet in that pack was this one, which has all gold. So at the top, there's this really pretty in cursive weekend. Then some more banners that are just lazy weekend, busy weekend, I heart weekends. And then down at the bottom, a bunch more of the icons. And you know, these are all gold foil, which is really, really pretty. So yeah, these are really cool. I like them, I like them a lot. Very cool, I'm glad I got these. So let's dip into the next package, which is this one right here. This is the Functional Flag sticker pack. So, you all know I love me some functional things, so let's do it. So we have got three sheets. We'll go through them one at a time. I'll start with the back sheet. This is actually all silver foil, if you can see. And yeah, this is kind of cool. It's got some like full boxes and some checklists. 
the checklist have like these little circles that have the foil on them really nice and then down at the very bottom there's some small little skinny flags i don't know if you can read that or not but they say like party day off vacation um those are the three sayings and then down here at the very bottom there are some just silver foil with a little flag so you can just you know write in whatever you want so very functional i like these because you know i like them with some functional things Oh, this is probably my favorite one. Oh, this is cool. This is gold, which is totally my jam. I like gold and silver, rose gold, eh, whatever. We've, we've talked about that on this channel. Actually, I've talked about it, and then I've actually seen a lot of you in the comments that say, I don't like rose gold either, so I know I'm not alone, but I love this gold. This is really nice. Um, just foil, and then with these ones, they're like a, just like a little foil asterisk. Love that there are a little bit of options down here for the watercolor, which is super popular this year, so I really like that. Oh, this is so cool. All right, and here is the last sheet in that pack. This is all rose gold, and this is all stuff that says to pay. Here's a bunch of just little teardrops with some stuff saying like holiday to do, appointment, take note, you know, just random stuff. Um, just some random little flags with little asterisks on there. Down at the very, very bottom, there's some really skinny flags with just some white letters on them that say happy birthday, best day ever, hashtag planner addict, and let's celebrate. So very cool. I'm very glad that I got these, um, like all these stickers now. I kind of wasn't sure, but I was like, mm, let's try it, let's see and I, I'm glad I, I did that. Next item is more stickers. Bam. I got these guys as well. I know I got my marble print one a while ago. I think that was the last haul, maybe the haul before, I can't remember. Same paper, same everything. I'm not gonna take it out because I've already played with it before, but this is the holiday one, the fa la 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 one. Um, which I think is really kind of cute. And then I also got this one too because I thought it would be kind of more neutral looking. Um, I don't know what my plans are for these, but I thought they were really cute and I just wanted them. But I thought that you could use this maybe even during like January or February or something because it's still kind of cold and I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But I just thought they were really stinking cute. So why the heck not? All right. Here is the reason that I ordered stuff. Jody. I'm blaming you. And before I actually show you, let me zoom you back out so you can actually see what I'm going to show you. I think there's enough space now. All right, so let me show you what I decided to get. Here's the back. This is like a dark green on a light green. It's coming out like, the dark green is coming out blue on camera. I don't know why, but maybe in editing it won't come out blue. I have no idea, but anyway. There's a dark green and a light green confetti pattern, and the front of it, dun da 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 budget 2017. This is going to be my budget planner. Not a notebook, a planner for this year. So Eric Hunter came out recently with the Deluxe Monthly Planner. So my friend Jody, obviously on YouTube, and we're like real life friends too, she posted on YouTube her walkthrough, and I never really looked at all of the pages on the Erin Condren website, but anyway, I should have done that because this is like the perfect thing for budgeting. So anyway, let me kind of like walk you guys through it so you can see what I mean, and I'll kind of tell you my like tentative plans for it. So this is just this, and then the monthly planner, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm not gonna use it as a traditional planner. I don't know what I'm gonna do with like these days or whatever. Okay, so. At the beginning of the month, well, let me start, hold on. I'm getting too excited, I can't talk. So the first page is, there's a dot grid thing, which I'm actually gonna use in correlation with the previous month, if that makes sense, but we're looking at January, so this doesn't really pertain. And then there's the quote piece of paper, which is fine, and then you get into the actual month. So this is January. What I want to end up doing, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing yet, I actually put in a really big custom sticker order that's gonna correlate with this. So I will end up showing you exactly what I'm gonna do come the end of December, early January when I start this, is I wanna mark every time I make a financial transaction. That being said, this is gonna get kinda crazy in this planner. However, it's gonna keep me on track, it's gonna 
help me curb some of my spending habits. Also, if I know I have to put a sticker inside of my planner if I spend something, I might be more apt to tell myself no if I really don't need it or kind of budget a little bit more. I mean, I'm obviously a big budgeter anyways, but you know, just to just check yourself, I guess. So anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the goals column, but that's kind of what I wanna do with this front page, or not front page, but you know, like front sheet of the month. Next page, on the left-hand side, there are just kind of like these big lined bubbles. And then on the right-hand side is the new, well, not the new, but like the lined notebook pages. So yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is like, say for January, for instance, I'm gonna write down like my tentative budget either here or here, I'm not really sure. Um, and then whatever happens will obviously be put into the actual month, I guess. So I don't know what I'm gonna use all these pages for, but I thought that was awesome. And then now we're into February. So it's all the same all the way through. The only gripe I have about this planner so far is that there's no tabs. Like there's no tabs that are like January, February, March, April. I really wish that there were tabs, but I can understand that because it's a little bit less expensive, obviously, than like a regular like weekly planner. So um, because it just has the months. So anyway, let me go all the way to the back and then I'll show you what's back here. Okay, so all the months are the same. This is December, so let's get all the way to the back of December. All right, so in the back of December, we've got these. These are just the 2018, so you can kind of forecast out for certain goals or I don't know, whatever. And then there is another little page that has a quote on it and you know, they want you to tag them and your stuff, you know, whatever. So back here, what I think I might do, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do because obviously it's a little farther away, but back here, there's just a whole bunch of lined pages, which I think is nice because I can do maybe some more like rough planning back here, or maybe I can track some of my savings, like my cumulative amount for the year um, because I'm gonna be putting in possibly, I haven't really decided yet, because I still wanna share this stuff with you guys. So here's like my eternal debate. Let's talk for a second. I really wanna use this. However, if I use this, this will be like my actual budget, like incoming and outgoing money. I don't really care if you guys see my outgoing money because that's what it is. Like my cable bill is my cable bill, and my cell phone is my cell phone, and my insurance is my insurance. Like, I could care less. But my incoming money, that's what I got a problem with. I don't know if I'm like 100% comfortable sharing that, but if I do these budget videos, which are, by the way, like one of my most popular, like watched style of videos, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what my problem is. I feel like, here's my problem. I'm like way going off on tangents today, you guys. But I think what the problem is, is I feel like the amount of money that I make will be judged. And it doesn't matter if it's in a positive or a negative way. I've actually gotten both, regardless of if I'm, you know, just rounded, like giving you a round number, because that's what I've just been doing. But when I show you the actual amount of money that I'm making like per paycheck or per month or whatever, I just don't want to get the comments all weird. Like there's some people that have been like, oh my gosh, you make so much more money than I do, blah, blah, blah. But you gotta think about like your economic standing versus mine. I live in a very metropolitan area. Cost of living is a little bit more expensive than some other places. I also live in an area that's pretty like I don't know, Minneapolis, St. Paul, I feel like is a very like median income. We're not super high, but we're not super low. We're kind of right in the middle. So, you know, we're not like LA or New York where it's crazy expensive to live there, but the cost that you, but the wage that you make in those places reflect that too. So I, I don't know, it's, I, I don't know what to do yet. I'm leaning towards just sharing it and seeing what happens. If the comments get out of hand, I think I'm just not gonna do them anymore or I'll do something. To, I don't know what I'm gonna do, you guys. So we'll see, we'll see. I mean, I might just not share this page ever, um, but I would love to share this page. That's the thing. So. Anyway, this video is getting really, really long. This was just a haul. I don't know why I'm going like all sorts of crazy. 
But yeah, okay, so let's look back in the back again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm just getting weird. Um, it's late at night, I don't know what the heck's going on. And now it's like pitch black outside. All right, so here's all these just like regular, just lined pages, which is awesome. And then in the back, they do have some of these flags, which is kind of cool. Oh, and it has a little um, thing. Oh, this kind of sucks, it's like all, do you guys see this? It's like all bent. Well, this kind of blows. Oh, well that sucks. I don't know how that could have gotten all bent. Everything else is fine. Weird. Yeah, it's like all bent and like scratched up. Anyway, whatever. I ain't gonna use it anyway, I don't think, so whatever. But yeah, and it's got like the small coil, which is like totally up my alley, so yeah. So that is a peek inside the Deluxe Monthly Planner. I will be leaving item descriptions down below, as well as my unique link to the erincondren.com website. If you have not ordered anything through Erin Condren previously, you can sign up using that link. What will happen is you will get a $10 off coupon code emailed to you. And if you decide to use that, it doesn't have to be on a planner. It can literally be off of a sheet of stickers if you want, doesn't matter. Once you use that $10 off coupon code and your item ships, they actually send me a $10 off coupon code. Oh, actually it was really exciting. I got one today, so that was pretty cool. So thank you to everybody that has already used my code. I really, really appreciate it. And honestly, that is how I can bring all of these amazing fun videos to you guys as well. Helps with the budget get it ha 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 so anyway that is going to be it from me i hope you guys enjoyed the haul like i said descriptions will be below links will be below if you like the haul video make sure to give it a thumbs up it lets me know that you like hauls and i'll keep doing them for you guys also if it's your first time here or you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe i am here every monday wednesday and friday with new fresh content for you all i hope you are having a fabulous day so far thanks so much for hanging out with me for a little bit of your time today and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys!